And the first thing that I'm going to mention we find here in the book of Proverbs, jump down to verse number 20. The Bible says, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Who you surround yourself with, who you choose to be friends with, who you choose to be spending your time with on a regular basis is going to have a big impact on your life. It, they will rub off on you no matter where you're at. I mean, even at work, I mean, everyone has to go out to work, or at least many of you, you need to go out to work. I have a job, go out to work. People will rub off on you. Now, at least in that environment, everybody should be busy doing their job. So you shouldn't have some major impact, hopefully, to your spiritual life, to your walk with God. Because, I mean, I know that's what I do. Oftentimes, I'll just put on a set of headphones. And now I just listen to, like, Christmas music or some hymns or whatever, stuff like that, just to zone out and to kind of tune everybody else out and just focus on my work. You may not have an environment like that. You know, maybe a little bit different, but the, the goal is to try to just get your work done and work. And if you're busy working, then it's hard to find yourself getting a problem. And that's one of the main themes. We're going to get to that in a few minutes. Keeping yourself busy, like doing something productive, doing something good, is going to be one of the best things you can do to keep yourself from getting into sin and getting involved with the things of this world. Um, the Bible says, you know, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. So basically, you know, a sure way not to sin is to walk in the spirit. Now, nobody walks in the spirit 100% of the time. We still do have the flesh. It's the struggle. But what that tells us is that the more time that you can actually spend doing things that you know are godly things... It's guaranteed to keep you from things that are not that good. Now, I understand too. Look, I have the flesh. I know what it's like to get burned out on, say, reading the Bible. Especially if you're single, you're young, you've got maybe a little bit extra time on your hands because you don't have the time that it takes to you know, have a family and just all the other work involved with that. Maybe you have a little bit of extra time. And... I know you could really only spend so much time reading the Bible before you're just like, my head hurts. <laughs> you can't. You can't.